Welcome guys to another video. This video today will be about my cabinet PC. Um, I'm happy to replace some parts at the back of the cabinet due to some technical issues. Um, I'll discuss them as we go further into the video, so please enjoy. So over the past week, I've noticed that some of my cables have been stripped. All of the rubber, plasticky material around them have been eaten away and I'm guessing that a mouse or something has gotten into it so I've had to take the back piece off. Um, the back piece was also damaged because they chewed through it to get through um, so that would have been some solid chewing and I'm not sure how I didn't hear it but I've had to take apart all the wire management and all of the uh, back and replace some cables and I've had to make a new back piece. Along the edges here I've had to design the back piece so it slides into this, the grooves around the cabinet and this is the back piece here that I've designed. So right now I only have undercoats on there, it hasn't been painted, it's only primed and I'm planning for it to have a swinging door and so I can lock it with a latch. These are the hinges, so I'm going to have four latches, I've only got two out for now just to show you and that is the latch which will be on the other side obviously so we can open and close the door and lock it. I have gone for four hinges just to provide a bit more support for your door as it is six millimeters thick MDF and um, it's pretty heavy. The holes at the bottom are for some cables to get through like the power supply cable. Um, it'll just provide a nice clean way for the cable to be able to route through and into the power supply. Now what I plan on doing with this is I need to install all of my cable clips and that on the back of the sheet metal again so I can hold all of them cables in place, get some cable ties in there and make it all neat again. At the moment it is a very, very, very messy cabinet but that's okay. It shouldn't take too long to fix as soon as we get all of these cable ties and everything installed. So here's an example of how the power supply cable will route through. I've got two holes just for some other cable things that need to route through as well and it fits nice and snug so that is a perfectly shaped hole. This is how I will be mounting the cables onto the sheet metal. I just need to put a couple of clips on there and that should hold everything down and it'll make everything nice and neat again. So guys, I thought I'd just show you that little update as to what happened with the cabinet. Um, I do believe it was a mouse, but I'm not 100% sure, but it chewed through three millimeter MDF wood and it chewed through a lot of cables and stripped them. So. I'm not taking any chances and I'm going to be putting rubber grommets on them holes down the bottom and also 6mm MDF hopefully keeps them out and keeps them away and yeah so guys I hope you enjoyed the video please stay tuned for more and if you liked it please thumb it up subscribe and I'll see you next time.